You will seek me and you will find me, God says. He's writing, let me put this in context because I love context in scripture. You need context. The children of Israel have actually been led astray and, and, and into captivity. They're in captivity now. Uh, they've rebelled against God. They've rejected God. But God still in his love and his mercy and his grace, he says, Jeremiah, you tell the people when they find me, and they, I'm sorry, when they seek me with all of their heart, they will find me. And that's a promise I want to encourage all of you to take to God this morning. It, 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 that's what I love about God's word. It's not like social security, where it might not be here. It's not like the 401ks or retirement. God's word will be here. It stands the test of time. It is absolute truth. It's an absolute truth. And we have to start contending for truth in this postmodern culture. It's, it's truth. And God says, if you seek me with all of your heart, you will find me. Now, I want to give you a word of encouragement here because we read that and we think, well, who in the world can do that? Amen? I mean, I can't see God with all of my heart. I'll be honest with you. Well, Shane, how can you say that? Because there's something inside that's at war with God called the flesh. And it's at war with God. The more you're filled with the Spirit, the less control that flesh has on you, the less influence. But here's what, what this word all can mean as well. All doesn't mean perfection. If you follow me with the perfect heart, it means God is a priority. So if you seek me, if I become the priority in your life, there's a lot of kids in here this morning too. If God becomes the priority in your life, you will find him. If you seek him with all of your heart, he's the priority. See, a lot of times we, want, like, we treat God like broccoli. We put him on the back burner. And we might get to that sometime during the course of the meal. But if we don't, oh, who cares? We'll throw it out in the morning. And God's on the back burner. But to truly find him, he must be, he must be forefront. He must be the priority of your life. Let me just tell you, this is coming from somebody because sometimes we think, oh, pastors, you know, you, you have to say that. No, God radically changed my life. He radically changed my life. And I've, I've lived what I'm preaching. And it often takes broken men to break men. See, first, he's got he's to break me before I can, I can spend time in the prayer closet. And God humbles me, and he humbles me. And then I come out of that prayer closet wanting to preach the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. And, and it's that process of the refiner's fire. So desperate for more of God. What do I mean by desperation? Well, we know what that means. Have you ever became desperate over something? Because you, you change everything to find or to receive what you're desperate for. I'm, I'm desperate for this. I'll, I'll change my behavior. I'm desperate for my marriage to be restored. I'll change my behavior. I'm so desperate. I'm tired of my fourth recovery home. I'll, I'm so desperate. I'm, I'm tired of financially not making it. And it changes the way we live. See, we have extremes in everything. Extreme motocross. Anybody motocross here? Extreme mountain biking. All right, Bakersfield. Let me, let me back that up. Extreme bull riding. Okay. <laughs> Is there extreme, extreme bull riding? Actually, I'm supposed to, my daughter wants me to take her to the bull riding finals or national some Wednesday. But anyway, coming back on track, there's an extreme for everything, extreme makeover, extreme uh, motocross, everything. Why then can't we have an intense and extreme passion for God? Answer me that question. Why shouldn't Christians be the most passionate about the things of God, loving God, following God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, with all of our strength? He is an all-consuming fire. He is the God who redeems and set free. He is the God of the Old Testament and the New and the New. They both say the same thing. If you seek me, you will find me. And it's not like God's doing this. Come on, let's just play hide and seek. He's just saying, give me your heart. Fully surrender your life. Let me fill you with my spirit, and you will find me. 